welcome back to the channel I'm Lisa today we're gonna go over what I'm going to be using for the up-and-coming school year for social studies for my two little ones I have a first grader and a second grader and so let's jump on into what we're gonna be using this year so first of all we are going to be learning or documenting our journey here in this notebook each of the kids have a binder these are half inch binders and on the sides it says social studies and geography right there on the side so these are their geography notebooks and my goal is to study the United States specifically the states um, and a few fun things about the states not to go over any political information about the states I want to keep it very simple for them as they're young and they won't retain all of the information that I probably want to share with them and so I want to try to keep it as simple as possible so this is create this was created by JDA I got it off of teachers pay teachers I believe it was on sale when I purchased it but they also have she also has a book on Amazon if you want if you don't want to print it out but I want it to have the download so that I can print it out as many times as I need it to so here is a sheet where you can color as you go and then a checklist of all of the states as you go over them they're listed here in alphabetical order I also have a song that I want to teach the kids as well so it's a song that I learned when I was in elementary school and it's honestly the, one of the only things I remember from learning about our states here's an example of what the kids could do I love this example because it reminds me that kids are kids and they like nice colorful things and it's a project for them it can be a project for them to get creative and make it their own so theirs won't necessarily look like this there it won't be as neat as this but um, it will be something that's fun and exciting for them to be able to go over each state. so the state the day it was founded the capital abbreviation bordering states their motto famous person and fun facts about them now do I Think the kids will remember all of this no but the most important thing as I mentioned that I want them to get out is to know all 50 states and so that's the goal so each of the pages are blank like this and they just go over you know the same information on each of the sheets here so I think it's cool that they have a picture of the bird picture of the flower and your kids can really just color them in this is great for kids who maybe are not at the stage where they can really draw and be confident or feel confident with it everything is there all they need to do is color it in so that is the first thing that we have here for social studies So each of my kids will have a binder. That's one. Here is the other. They're both the same size, same color. I did get a few different colors for their binders. I thought it was important to for them to be able to quickly identify which was which. And so this is the main thing that we're going to be using. Now I'll go ahead and show you some more. Something else that we're going to be using is this here. It's kind of like the size of a menu, a little bit smaller, but these can come off. I got this for Cam when I was homeschooling him. As you guys know, I have an almost 16 year old as well and these are things that we used for him. Not the binder, but this for sure. We used this for him just to make sure that he knew all of his 50 states. We went in more depth of course with him into capitals and things like that, but I have plenty of these. These were at a very reasonable price on Amazon and I will have a link for this in the description box as well as anything that I share with you here that I can find. Now, while I only want to study the 50 states, I do want the kids to have an idea of where we're coming from. So where are we in the world? And then zoom in on that area. So I have identified some places in this book called the Student Atlas that I want to show them. So I want to show them the big picture so they can get a bigger picture of the whole world and then zoom in on specifically where we are in North America. I've also put a mark on this as well because it goes over each of the countries and you can kind of see them broken down and highlighted in more depth and detail. So again, just giving them a bigger picture of 
where we are and it identifies it identifies the United States here and so um, I, I really like that and I've also put a, book, a bookmark here this goes into you know obviously the 50 states so we can zoom in on the 50 states and just look at this as a reference as well this is something that I'll just have out for them anytime they have questions they can always flip here now I did go ahead and go to the back of the book and I noticed in the back of the book all of I've had this book for a while I again I used this when I had cam and homeschool as well and I was homeschooling a sixth grader seventh grader eighth grader and starting a ninth grader so um, this is what they would normally have my first atlas of the world as just three to six year olds and then the next one would be a world atlas for ages seven to ten and then here's the United States for beginners. This is the one that I would like to have for them. So I do plan on ordering this one. I have this one here. So I don't know what the difference is between all of them, but um, I do want to go to the store, check them all out, and then eventually order them that one. I'm sorry, we have, we have this one. So a bit more advanced, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go check out this one and see if that's something that I would be interested in purchasing as well. Something else that I ordered on Amazon was this. I thought this would be fun for them. It is a giant poster, <laughs> essentially, of the United States. So it's a coloring map. So you kind of color as you go. So it turns out to be one huge poster. As you can see the kid there coloring, you kind of take the pieces together um, of the different parts. And as you can see here, that's Georgia and North Carolina and Tennessee. I don't know yet if I'm going to tape it on the wall and then have them go up in color or if I'll just give them a sheet that they can sit at their desk and do a little bit of coloring each day. Next thing that I want to share with you is something similar to the JDA book that she created or my printables that I got. It's called the United States Activity and Fun I'm sorry, activity and fact book. Now I've had this for a couple years. We didn't end up using it with Cam, but um, I've had it for a while and I decided this is the perfect time to go ahead and use it. It goes over the 50 state maps, capital, animals, birds, flowers, cities, population, and region. So it goes into a little bit more depth, which we'll touch base on, but we will not go into full depth with these. What I will do is make a copy so that I will have a sheet for each of my kids. So as you can see here, it has a little word puzzle, which the kids will enjoy. It has, you know, different words to find that have something to do with the state. That gives you the state capital, abbreviation, major cities, population, bordering states, and region of company or region of country. So it tells you where it is in the Midwest or, you know, breaks all that information down. And then here's the other sheet as well. It goes over, you know, gives you things to color, the state mammal, the state bird, a picture of it, and then what the state flower is. So each state has the same thing in there, as you can see. And the front has, um, you know, color the states as you go. All right, the next thing I have, I actually had to clean off because it still had markings on there from Cam, but this is another map, but it's broken down into regions. So it'll tell you what each region, region is. So the Northeast, West, the Southwest region, the Midwest, the entire United States, the West region, and there's another Midwest. I must have two in there. Yeah, I have two. I have two of the Midwest, but that's okay. But you guys get the point. So it goes over all the states in their areas. The goal here is just to show them the areas, to use this as a reference. If you hear somebody snoring, it's Layla. She's laying next to me and she's asleep. Layla is our boxer. So my apologies for that. But um, the most important thing here for me is making sure that they understand that each that the, the United States is broken up into regions. I don't expect them to know all of the regions. I think that is something that they can take on, though, understanding each region. And that may be how I end up introducing the states to them is by region. So we'll start in, I don't know, the southwest and then they can learn about those. 
as well and you know and go on as well so this is something that i printed off of teachers pay teacher and i laminated it and as you can see it's held good for maybe three or four years now this is created here i'll leave this here for you guys so you can see who created it it says handy hanlon creations h-a-n-l-o-n creations so if you're interested in that it came with more pages but these were the ones that i wanted to uh to use for this particular year as far as games go i did go ahead and purchase this bingo bingo is a fun way a quick and easy way for the kids to learn a lot of different things you'll see a lot of bingo in my haul in the different subjects so eight ways to learn or eight ways to play this game you learn each state and the capitals and there's the dates they were founded on there and everything like that so this is just a fun way to bring learning alive so we for bingo i usually they usually come with like little paper um the little coins here are usually paper we actually have the plastic coins from a previous curriculum and so that i purchased from a previous curriculum so it usually lasts a little bit longer for us that way so bingo is something that we're going to be doing for fun we also have this that was my husband's and this is a puzzle we're missing um these two pieces right here we've been missing them since he brought that since he part brought this home um from his parents house and so this puzzle gets so much use it's melissa and doug and it does take batteries so the batteries are out of it now but when we do have batteries in there it still works perfectly and so it just says the state and the capital so yeah this is a puzzle that we i'll just have out on the table while we're going through this but this is something that is just always around and the kids will just pick up and get started and last but not least these are just some inexpensive ways to add in learning and these are the placemats we use them not as like eating mats but to work on we use them as references and so these actually came from my neighbor she heard i was homeschooling our kids and she brought these and a bunch more over from when her kids were little and you know they used to eat off of these and just have them so i thought that they were nice <laughs> and this is the newer ones that they have out now that i picked up uh maybe four years ago i believe from michael's or hobby lobby they have them at both i think this one came from michael's but they do have the same one at, at hobby lobby as well When it comes to curriculum, this is everything that we're going to be using for the United States, at least for the first six to eight weeks. If something changes, I will let you guys know whenever I give an update. But this is everything. They have their binders, puzzles, books. You will notice you don't see any reading books. We plan on going to the library if necessary. So that's something else that we will add in there is um, they will learn how to do research here so we will look things up go to the library look out books things like that so this is the basics this is our foundation for learning about the 50 states i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next curriculum video bye